I've said it before and I'll say it again, in many parts of the country, especially in Alabama, where there are 13,000 churches, if the election was between Jesus and Satan, and Satan ran under the Republican ticket, Jesus would lose in a landslide. And I'm not saying Jesus would run as a Democrat. He could be a member of the Green Party. He could be a Libertarian, uh, Independent. As long as Satan had the R beside his name, conservative Christians would overwhelmingly fill in the circle on the ballot beside Beelzebub, and it'd be a hell of a campaign, literally. They point to Jesus saying, welcome all immigrants and say, we can't have open borders. They point to him saying, render unto Caesar and say, Jesus worships the government would raise taxes. They point to his words of love, tolerance, and not judging and call it DEI. They'd see him heal the sick for free and say, who's going to pay for that? I paid my medical bills. Why should I have to pay for somebody else's? They would come up to him on the campaign trail and say, hey, are you that fellow that's running against Satan? And Jesus would say, I am he. And they say, oh, we don't do them pronouns around here. They will point to him feeding the masses and say it's socialism and we should be giving handouts and if you want to eat, you should pull yourself up by the bootstraps and not depend on the government. They will say Jesus is against abortion and gays and Jesus will say, well, I'm Jesus and I've never said a word about either. And then they go, Jesus is gone woke. They'd use this picture and ad saying this is what they want. Grown men in dresses reading to kids, indoctrinating our precious children with their sick agenda. You can't tell me that wouldn't happen. Conservative Christians would literally put Satan into office over Jesus as long as Satan had an R beside his name. And then without a hint of irony, they say, we got to get Jesus back into people's lives. Because they will hear everything I just said and say, well, we're not actually against any of that. We're just against the government being a part of it. But they want religion in the government because we're a Christian nation. But they don't want to do any of the teachings that the Jesus they worship taught. Because the only way you can be a conservative Christian is if you vote for the people who do the opposite of what Jesus said to do. How else can you explain the party of protect the children proudly wear AR-15 lapel pins when guns are the number one killer of kids and their other preferred piece of decoration is a cross, which Jesus died on. These are the people who would stand under the cross as Jesus told the thief, amen, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise and mutter to themselves, they should have complied. Hallelujah and roll tide.